Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a two-in-one hair tutorial for jelly hair and semi-realistic hair. So before I start, I did make this little mannequin head that you can download for free on my Ko-Fi. It's linked below and it also has the hair and all the step-by-step -step pictures. So yeah, you can pause this and go download it and follow along, or if not, just keep watching. So the first step that I take is drawing the overall shape. Using Liquify helps a lot with making sure that it's not crooked. And another, another thing that I look at is making sure that the head's not too flat, unless there is a situation where it would be, for example, if the hair was wet. So here I'm showing the difference of space between the scalp and the top of the hair. So, I mean, here it's a lot more voluminous. It doesn't have to be that much of a gap. But still, you guys, Remember that your character, or a human in general, has a skull, a cranial, on top of their head. So make sure that you give some volume at the top and give your characters like a forehead, for instance, if you weren't drawing things. So moving on to the next step, this is where I will start using a blender brush and the lasso tool and add in some darker colors into the hair. Sorry it got super shaky right here. I think I was drawing like super hard and going ham on the drawing. So I've added shadow in a way where it looks like the shadow like behind the hair or just making the overall shape. And here with the lasso tool using that same shade, I'm gonna be making different shapes throughout the hair that usually have pointed edges um usually they're like a like a long triangle type of shape and then i tend to just blur out the edges so it doesn't look so harsh and it blends in with the rest of the hair so now i'm gonna add some light especially against the shadows so that it stands out and it makes it obvious that that part of the hair is sticking out and I'm just gonna keep adding light throughout the hair um, especially keeping the light source in mind here I kind of didn't really think of that I kind of just put it everywhere in the general areas that I wanted those pieces to stick out but keep in mind that it's usually always gonna be different depending on the environment and the lighting in your piece. So the next step is the main highlight on the head. I usually just draw a solid line across the head and then I lower the opacity and from there I shape it into a way that does flow with the hair and where the strands are and I do that by using liquify, I use um, the smudge tool and the erase tool and I just continue shaping it until I feel that it looks okay. This actually took me like three different tries and then you can also use, um, you don't always have to use white for the highlight, sometimes you can use like a complementary color like i think here maybe like a blue or a lilac would have worked really good too i think i did actually end up going with like a really really light blue um when the piece was finished all right so for the last part of the jelly hair tutorial i just basically render and just add little strands, small little details that would obviously correlate to your unique style. You don't have to do it exactly like me, but even if you do, that's fine. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the jelly hair. And please keep watching for the semi-realistic version. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm gonna do the same hairstyle and basically the same shape just in a different hair color and as with the same steps as before, I started off with the shape. Now I'm starting to add some light into the hair. And here you can see that I started off with the darker color first. And now using the hairbrush, I go in with a bit of a lighter color than that. And I start to add strands throughout it. Here I made a little demo of me using this brush so you can see just how easy it is to achieve um, semi-realistic, uh, I guess realistic hair really depending on how you see it. But I just go from darkest color as the base and lighter and lighter and it's really just random strands and I do lower the size of the brush as I go as well especially for the highlights. And even just changing the colors, it looks great in every color. I especially liked it in this blue color. So I'm basically doing here what I did on the demo is I started off with a dark color and I'm just gradually lightening that shade of brown. I try not to overdo it and go crazy and make sure that there's not too many strands to where it just looks like hey I really do try to keep the values in the hair and show that there is dark behind that light. The way that I'm using the brush here is the brush size is a little bit bigger and I am using a pretty light hand and I also use a smudge tool just to soften some of the strands. So after I get the main set of strands throughout the hair, I go in with a smaller size hairbrush and I do apply more pressure into the pencil and I do zoom in quite a bit to go into detail of where I do want to add some of those lighter strands. So the last step for the semi-realistic hair is going in with highlights. You can go in with a white or just the lightest possible shade of color that you're using. And I really try to get little strands and when I added the lighter strands earlier, I do add light in the middle of those strands so it really looks like those specific hair strands are curving out and catching the light source. I'm trying not to add too much of this uh, highlights only because I feel like it's going to make the character's hair look possibly greasy or wet which is what I'm not going for. So something that I like to add to the semi-realistic hair is really really tiny single hair strands kind of just flowing out in like random spots. It could go like across the face or away from the face so that kind of gives it that like in a way messy look so it doesn't look like I don't know just like a really stiff wig if that makes sense. But yeah that's pretty much it for the semi-realistic hair. I really hope that it was helpful and if you get the brush I hope that you like it. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!